Close your eyes and find your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel it. When you breathe out, notice where you feel it. And try to stay right with that one sensation. Give the mind some focus and be very clear about where you're focusing the mind. This is a choice that we're making all the time, and yet all too often the choice gets passed off to automatic pilot. Something grabs your attention just a little bit and you're off with it. Something else grabs you and you're off with that. The mind doesn't have any steadiness. Because it's not steady, it doesn't get to know itself. It's always ready to jump at the next thing. Sometimes we have to say, no, we're going to stay right here. And make right here a comfortable place to be. Breathe in in a way that feels good. Breathe in out in a way that releases the tension of the body. See, so we breathe in, you feel nourished. When you breathe out, you feel cleansed. Then be very mindful to stay here. Mindfulness means keeping something in mind. In other words, remembering that this is where you want to stay. This is the basis for all our success in life and all our activities. We have to remember what we want to do and why we want to do it and how to do it well. Because otherwise you can learn things and then you forget. And then you wonder, well, why learn things to begin with if you're constantly going to forget them? So you try to keep the good things that you've learned in mind. And one of the good things to remember is the mind needs to be trained, because the mind is the source of everything you're going to experience in life. Even things coming in from outside have to go through the filter of the mind. So you want to make sure that the, the filter is clean and that it's operating properly, and that you're choosing the right things to focus on. There are lots of things you could think about right now that will get you in a bad mood. Other things get you in a better mood. So th think about things that will actually be of use now and on in the future. All right, right now, something simple like the breath. You say, what's there to think about the breath? Well, you're learning how to get the mind under control. You're learning how to be alert to what's actually going on in the present moment. And the breath is a good place to be because it's right here in the present moment. You can't look at a past breath. You can't look at a future breath. If you're with the breath, you know you're in the present. And when you're in the present, you can begin to see, what is the mind doing? What kind of decisions is it making? And you can watch it clearly, because the sneaky members of the committee of your mind will sneak in when you're not paying attention. And you'll end up saying and doing and thinking things that are going to be harmful. So you've got to be vigilant. You've got to be careful to watch what's happening right now and sort through what the mind's offering to you so you choose only the best things. And then you act on the best things and then life gets better. You're coming from a position of strength. You're coming from a position of well-being. You're coming from a position of knowledge where you can remember the good things you've learned, the useful things you've learned from the past, so you can apply them all the time. That way your life becomes a better life because it's coming from a better mind. The source of everything is right here, so make sure the source is good and the things that flow out of the source are bound to be good as well. But you have to stay here to make sure that the source is always producing good things. So try to keep on top of the present moment, keep on top of the mind in the present moment. Take care of this and everything else gets taken care of. <laughs>